Mark is ecstatic because he just finished a very urgent request for the management. He built a pivot table with a slicer, so if you select the state, the data will get automatically filtered. However, he showed it to his boss and his boss threw it in his face. Why is that you would ask? Let me explain to you. Slicers are very good when you have a few data points. So for example, if I only have four options, that's easy to select. But once I have a lot of options, it's much more difficult, especially if you want to pick several states. So I have Arkansas here. Let's say I want Illinois. I can do it. I can do control and click on Illinois. So now I have selected Illinois plus Arkansas. So those are two states and the data will be the sum of two. Now I can do it for more, but you see how it becomes very difficult and cumbersome to understand what happened. Now, the solution to this is to add a filter to your slicer. If you right click, there is no filter. However, if I go to my other sheet, I actually have a filter and I can select different states. You can see how they get highlighted and the data will automatically update. If I want to continue using the slicer, I can do it. There is no problem. Everything works perfectly. Now let's go and help Mark to make it happen. This is the data sheet. And by the way, if you need the workbook, you can download it. The link is in the description of this lesson. We're going to do the basic steps first. So in case you don't know how to do them, you can just follow along. I'm just going to add a pivot table. So I just selected the columns, insert pivot table. We want it in an existing worksheet. Let's click on this arrow, go here and put it in F3. Enter, enter, so two times enter, this is my pivot table. If you don't see the pivot table fields, because you just closed this accidentally trying to reach out for your coffee, don't worry, don't panic, just right click here, show field list. Now I'm just gonna add the items and the sales. So we have our pivot table and obviously it doesn't look nice. We cannot go to management like this. Management likes shiny things. So how to fix it? Very simple. Just go to design and you can select, for example, this one. It's already much better. The other thing I want to do is just to remove all those decimal points. We have a pizza shop. We're not working for the NASA and we don't want to launch a rocket. So just select this and go to home. Here you can just click on this comma, you get rid of a lot of the decimal places and you can decrease decimals two times. There we go, it looks much nicer. Now let's add a slicer. We just go next to state, right click, add a slicer. This is exactly what Mark has done. The only difference is that he just went here and he chose a format for his slicer. Now let's go one step further. You're gonna see this trick. It's amazing. So for now, please don't like the video. Don't subscribe. Don't upload me. I didn't do anything. This is just basics. What we're going to do is just select this table, Ctrl C, and we're going to go to cell B5 and paste it. So notice I'm pasting it two rows below this one. Ctrl V, we have another pivot table. Let's get rid of items and sales. And I just want to take state put it in the filters. This is my filter. Now, if you click here, select multiple items. If you select something, for example, Arizona, you can see that Arizona is automatically selected here. Magic, right? Now, if you don't see this, don't get angry at me. I know you're gonna look at me and shout. I'm gonna tell you what's the problem. You just right click here and you go to report connections you need to ensure that this slicer is connected to the two pivot tables. In this case it is, so I don't have a problem. Now let's take care of cosmetics. The first problem is, I don't want to see this state column. Why do I have it? Let's just right click and hide it. We are left with just the state, so we can select from it and we can get the filtering done. Now the problem with this is that if I select something else, Notice what will happen. For example, Iowa. Notice what will happen here. It has shrank on its own. So if I just put the slicer on top of it and fix it like this, it's not going to work well because every time it's going to resize. 
However, don't worry, just right click pivot table options and here you have auto fit column weights on update. You just untick this one, press ok and there you go, it's not gonna auto fit anymore. You have the desired effect. I'm just gonna put the slicer here and now we can select other states, we press ok, it gets automatically updated. You can unfilter from here and you can use the filter from the slicer. So I hope you like it. Now you can like and subscribe. Now let's take care of one more problem. If you see here, I can just click on this one and move it around. This is not good. So what do we do to avoid this problem? Right click here and do size and properties. You go under position and layout, disable resizing and moving. We just select it, we can close this and now you cannot move it anymore. This is perfect. I think Mark Boss will not throw it in his face anymore.